I really don't know why. I don't know if it's a good strategy for everyone, but for these questions, I, I really like doing them in reverse, especially when the question is like, how would text two respond to something in text one? I just, I like reading text two first. I wanna get what they think and dumb summarize that. That way when I'm reading text one, I'm like, all right, but how does that relate back to what they're saying? So let's take a look. Um, text two. The objects uncovered in this cave are intriguing, but it is premature to characterize them as tools. So premature means bad. The stone pieces are so roughly shaped that they may have simply fractured from rocks during natural geological activity in the cave. Moreover, their unearthing has thus far not been accompanied by discoveries of other signs of human activity or even traces of human DNA from surfaces. So my dumb summary here is it's premature because there's no evidence, right? No evidence that they're tools. That's my dumb summary. Now let's look at what they would say uh, in, to, about what they're saying in text one, right? So uh, going back to text one, an excavation in this cave in central Mexico has appended the belief that approximately 13,000 years ago, a group known as the Clovis people were the first human inhabitants of North America. More than 200 crude stone tools were found embedded in a layer of earth that is up to 33,150 years old. So they're just calling them tools, okay? Revealing that humans occupied the cave thousands of years before the Clovis people reached the continent. So how would this person respond? What's my, like, my dumb summary of what this answer is going to be? Is they're not tools, right? That's the thing is they're saying they're tools. They're not revealing anything because they might not be tools. So let's just like a look at the answers. A, by suggesting that it draws a plausible connection between two groups of people that will need to be confirmed with further study. No, no, no. This, uh, some people are going to look at the end here and be like, oh, yeah, text two is saying we need more evidence. But no, he, he's saying there is no evidence right now that the, the, any, any suggestion that this is a plausible connection is wrong because he's saying they're not tools. They're just rocks. So there are no people that use these tools. They're just rocks. Um, this is a good example of how if you say like, okay, basically text two is going to disagree, right? That's the most simple dumb summary here. Then A is wrong because A is saying, I kind of agree, right? I kind of agree, but we need more evidence. But I kind of agree is not the same thing as I disagree. So that's, that's, that's why it's wrong. B, by asserting that it rests on an assumption about the stone pieces that is not sufficiently supported by available evidence. Well, there's no evidence. Like it's literally the same thing. This is definitely it, but let's look at C and D. By acknowledging that it will most likely be proved correct, when the stone pieces undergo more detailed analysis. Again, no, he's saying there's no evidence. He's not saying we need to do more research. It's, it's the evidence is not there. But again, this sounds like agreement, right? It's agreement with a, with a caveat or a, 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 an exception, but it's still agreement. But what we want is disagreement, right? So it's on a bad assumption that's not supported by evidence. That sounds like disagreement, right? Dumb it down. Um, let's look at D. By pointing out that it fails to account for evidence that the Clovis people were active on the continent as uh, as early as is commonly thought. So I don't even understand that choice. Um, fails to account for evidence that the Clovis people were active on the continent as early as is commonly thought. So this sounds like disagreement, right? Fails. Uh, but it's saying that we're using evidence of the Clovis people, but... I thought the whole point was that these aren't tools, right? So this just seems like it's, I don't even know what it's supporting, but it doesn't seem related, right? Make it about the tools. This is about the people. So if anything, this is one of those like main character issues. The main character of their disagreement is the tools. The main character of this choice is the people themselves. I, I, I'm not interested in that. What, what do you got to say about the tools? That's the disagreement. So D may be closer in terms of just agreement, disagreement, but B is definitely hitting both aspects of our dumb summary. They disagree and they disagree about the tools.